Hey guys, it's Miriam, and today we're going to talk about how to take your own reference photos for your art, or at least how I like to take mine. Now, lighting like this, it looks cool um, for videos, if you're video conferencing, or if you're taking selfies of yourself, but it's not that great for uh, painting. And why is that? Well, because beauty lighting like this, um, doesn't give you such a nice balance of shadows and highlights, which is why it works great for selfies, but not so great when you want to sit down and start to block in your form and shapes and portraits. So let me show you what I mean. And um, yeah, give me one second. All right, so I've grabbed my light here. Now this light is one of the best art purchases that I've ever made. Um, this is not sponsored or affiliated or anything like that. I picked this up at an art store. Um, as you, whoop, let me turn that off. Um, it's really sensitive. Okay, so as you can see, there's an articul articulating arm here. I can bend it in every which way that I want, which makes it really great for uh, one, taking reference photos, to um, lighting your painting. Whenever you're painting, it's super flexible. But the other thing I really love about it is they are daylight bulbs. So let me turn that on so you guys can see. Um, so they always give a consistent natural light, which is great for not only painting, but also really important when you're taking your reference photos. So the way that I like to light myself um, or whatever reference that I'm model that I'm working with, reference, I don't know, I usually photograph my friends and family, but I like to photograph them from slightly above and to the front. And let me fix the exposure on here. Will it let me while I'm recording? Uh, no, give me one second. All right, so we fixed the exposure issue. I brought down the exposure on the camera so that you can see, and this is exactly what I would do with my iPhone. I'd set my iPhone, I'm recording on my iPhone right now. So I'd set it up on a tripod like this. I'd get my light and I'd bend it in front of me and uh, above me and slightly in front. Um, sometimes I would do it to the side, do it to the side too. But what I'm really looking for when I am lighting myself or my subject like this is the shadows under the eyes, the nose, um, under the chin, under the top lip. Um, it really gives you a good starting point for your, your painting. Whereas lighting like this is gonna give you a harder time to come up with a lighting hierarchy in your portrait. Now that's not to say it's impossible or that there's not great artists out there who work with lighting like this um, or work with beauty lighting. I know a lot of people recommend the big beauty dishes. Um, one of the reasons why I like this so much is because it's directional light. Um, for those of you that might be new around here or don't know much about me before my life as an artist, I used to work as a professional photographer. Um, so I, my house is like littered with fancy lighting equipment, high-end cameras, but 99% of the time, the iPhone in this relatively cheap light do it for me. Another reason why I love lighting like this, directional, slightly from in front and above, is because it's pretty dramatic lighting. The other thing is when it comes to editing, um, I find it a lot easier to pull up the shadows and make it less dramatic if I need to than to increase the drama when it might not have ever been there to begin with. So now I want to show you some examples of real life paintings that I've done with this exact same setup using my handy dandy light here and um, my iPhone. And I'll show you um, the painting versus the reference. And uh, I'll also put the info for this light um, down below. So yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Is this helpful at all? Also, let me know what you think about the new setup. Uh, I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing here. And I don't know if anyone's watching this. So if you've made it this far, thank you. All right, here is painting number one. And here's the reference photo for this painting. Now guys, don't cringe at me too much for this. Um, 
it's a little intimidating putting yourself out there and putting out the reference photos for paintings that you've already completed. But anyways, this uh, reference photo was taken on my iPhone with the exact same lighting setup that I just showed you at the exact same desk that I'm sitting at right now. Um, you can tell that the light is pretty close to my face right above. Um, there's some, some pretty strong specular highlights there and um, I have some pretty dramatic shadows wherever the light's not touching. Now let's look at a second one. Uh, this is another picture. This is actually my, uh, my friend and my hands over his eyes. But again, same exact lighting setup and um, here was the reference photo for it. And last but, la last but not least, um, here's this reference photo. Same thing, sitting in this exact same chair, light over my head. You can tell um, how harsh it is by how dark the inside of my eyes are and the underside of my hands have, have some pretty harsh shadows. So um, yeah, that's my kind of style of reference photo. Um, it helps me speed things up, honestly, when I sit down at a canvas because I don't have to really think so hard about where different facial features are going. I can get in and just start roughing in the shadow shapes really fast um, and yeah. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it.